Hey there, and welcome to I Can, I Am, I Will, the world's number one podcast for confidence and self-empowerment. This is our second episode in our 100 podcast in 100 days. Yesterday was our kickoff episode, and we talked about a technique to help you build confidence. Today, we are going to talk about the benefits of confidence. And the reason why we're talking about the benefits is to give you a why, why you're here, why you want to build confidence, and what you will get from building it. My name is Lindsay. I'm your confidence coach. And I want to help you build your confidence so you can stop limiting yourself and you can achieve goals. I want to help you because I was once in your position trying to build confidence, but I didn't know that I needed to build confidence. I was literally just looking for anything to make me feel better. (laughs) And I found confidence after over a decade of working on myself, reading a bunch of stuff, and uh, taking on different perspectives. So now I want to show you all the great things that I've learned. I'd really appreciate if you would like, comment, share, leave reviews. I'm really trying to get the word out about this podcast. I would really appreciate your help. Thank you. I love this community. So the benefits of confidence. Sometimes people think that they need to do something in order to get confidence. Like they need to get the job or achieve the goal or lose weight in order to feel confident. But that's not the case. So it's actually kind of the opposite. So when you decide that you're going to do something like lose the weight or go for a goal, you take action and you work on your abilities and you build your confidence. For instance, with this podcast, I am not feeling so confident about undertaking 100 podcasts in 100 days. It's a lot. I'm super excited and I want to help people, but it's also scary. There's a lot of work involved and I want to do a great job. So it's a lot more than I thought it was going to be, but I'm doing it because I want to and I'm confident that I can. It's going to be difficult, but I have done difficult things before so I can. And while I do this, and while I take on this undertaking, I'm going to build my confidence up further. And that's what you do when you build confidence. You keep building it up further and further all throughout your life. So then you just keep taking on other undertakings, things that you would not do if you do not feel confident. And then you open yourself up to a whole bunch of opportunities that would not be there for you had you not opened yourself up with having confidence and taking action. Because confidence mixed with action is going to change your life. And when you're confident, you will act Because you won't be tied down with feelings of insecurity or worry. You won't be stuck. So confidence is your mindset towards who you are and your abilities. And your mindset plays a huge role in your happiness and fulfillment. So if you see yourself in a negative light, then you'll likely attract negativity or people who will try to overtake what you give. But when you have confidence, it will help you with determination and willpower. It will give you resiliency and grit. You will not be overtaken by people trying to take from you because you will limit what you give. And this isn't to say it's a bad thing. It's saying that you're taking care of yourself. You need to have a full cup. And then when that cup runs over is when you can give to another. And when you are confident in your abilities, you will be able to do more to give to others. And confidence is not a cure-all. There is action involved with confidence, but you're more likely to take the action because you won't feel defeated before you even begin. Sometimes you can feel defeated like before you even begin something. And that's how people get stuck. And with confidence especially like at work, you'll come off as an expert. You'll act with assertiveness. So not only will you feel confident in your skills and abilities, you will be trusted by others and seen as an asset. And this is in every area of your life. 
I use confidence to stop my yo-yo dieting and the negative self-talk and the all or nothing thinking to finally maintain a 40 pound weight loss. I've been maintaining my weight loss for so long that one of my friends said he didn't realize that I had lost weight. He just recently lost 150 pounds and I asked him how he was doing because I said I know how tough maintenance was and he said he had no idea. People think I'm naturally slim. This this ain't natural, honey. And it ain't luck, it's grit. (laughs) but I have the confidence now in myself and my abilities to maintain my weight that I don't get upset if I have a cheat meal and I'm not going to be hard on myself. I have the confidence that I will maintain my weight and stay healthy and stay on track. And when you build confidence, you're investing in yourself. This is what Warren Buffett says is the best way to success to invest in yourself. To gain respect for yourself and other people will respect you also. This eliminates eliminates the toxic relationships. You simply won't have time for them. You'll love yourself and you'll build boundaries. You'll be less likely to be manipulated because you'll know your wants and your needs and other people won't be able to tell you. I can't tell you how many times when trying this podcast and to start my own business, people have tried to tell me that I need to do other things. The things that they think are the key to my happiness, but really it's the key to theirs. And because I have confidence, I can say, no, this is what I am doing. And you will no longer think that confidence needs to be bought. When you have confidence, You save money because you won't be trying to buy your happiness. You won't buy into that lie. Instead, what you do is you will look for confidence where it truly is. It's inside you. It's been inside you all along. And that's what we're doing here. We're digging it up. And by the way, not only will you be saving money, you'll be making more money because people will trust you at work and you'll be seen as an expert. You'll also stay on track. You won't be distracted. You'll stick to your goals. You'll stop the negative thoughts that are keeping you stuck and you'll have less stress. You'll accept yourself and find more self-compassion and love. And you'll have true positivity. Not the forced positivity. Not the smile, be happy, look at the bright side positivity. You'll have true positivity, which is knowing that things can and will get better. Because you'll be confident in your abilities and in the abilities that you have that you can make things better. People sometimes think confidence is just flashy cars and things. It's not. It's so much more. And with action, confidence is the key to the life that you want. And that is why we are here together to build this confidence. It has changed my life in the most amazing ways. And I want you to help yourself to take that action, to move forward, to not think that you need to do something in order to get confidence. You build your confidence while you do the thing and then you will continually get more confidence. And I'm so excited to share this with you. Thank you for showing up for yourself. And today I wanted to also go into the definition of confidence and talk about more about what it is and what it's not, but I see that we're almost at 10 minutes and I want to keep these to around 10 minutes um, each episode. So we will leave that for tomorrow. And we are going to end with our I formations. Are you ready? You can say them with me. You can repeat after me. You cannot say them at all. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> I can. I am. I will. Have a good one.